Hi, this is Dr. Nishit Oza bringing you greetings from Navi Mumbai, India. Friends, let us learn about first trimester screening, that is 11 to 14 week screening. Anti scan 11 to 14 weeks and serum biochemistry, which together we called as combined test. There is one biophysical test and one biochemical test. Friends, I dedicate this video to thousands of my healthcare provider colleagues who have sufficient knowledge, but genuinely they don't find sufficient time to counsel their patients as far as first trimester screening is concerned. They may just forward the link of this video to their patients expecting couples and the couples I'm sure will definitely benefit from this. And also to the millions of expecting couples who are ready to spend but they will not be able to gain enough knowledge after browsing for 200 minutes what I have tried and given them in this 20 minutes of video divided into two parts. So friends in last 30 years there have been lot of developments in the field of first trimester screening which has inverted the pyramid of antenatal care. Previously, one has to wait till the third trimester till the complications develop like preeclampsia, fetal growth restriction or patient had preterm birth or the newborn would accidentally be found to have Down syndrome. Today, with the inversion of pyramid of antenatal care, one can predict, prevent, early diagnose and manage proactively the complications in pregnancy if they develop. So, let us talk about first trimester screening. How do we define anti or nuchal translucency? Nuchal translucency is the sonographic appearance of fluid under the skin behind the neck of the fetus seen in the first trimester of pregnancy. How it is important? In the normal, that is euploid fetuses, the median NT is 2.0 millimeter, whereas in aneuploidies, it may be 2 to 4 times this value. And therefore, abnormal NT value raise the alarm and we should be on our alert. Evolution. In 156 years back, Sir J. L. Down noticed or observed that Down syndrome individuals have abnormally thick skin. It was only 30 years back when Professor Kypros Nicolaides demonstrated this finding on ultrasonography and he said that there is abnormal or excessive fluid collection behind the neck of the fetus noticed that can be noticed in 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy. Friends, this was the game changer. He founded Fetal Medicine Foundation, which does important task of standardization, certification and licensing for all the different parameters of 11 to 14 week scan. So what is the purpose of this screening? First and foremost, to screen for the aneuploidies, that is trisomy 21, 18 and 13, Down syndrome, Adult syndrome, Patau syndrome. Friends, many of these abort. Few have intrauterine fetal death and land up with stillbirth. Few are born alive. Trisomy 18 and 13 cannot survive more than few hours or few days after birth. It is trisomy 21 that can survive for years, but they have mental retardation, health issues, and they put a lot of financial burden to the parents and to the society. Number two, to screen for the likelihood of development of preeclampsia later on in the pregnancy. Number three, to screen for the likelihood of development of fetal growth restriction. Number four, for early assessment of the length of the cervix by transvaginal scan. Number five, 10 out of 100 congenital anom structural anomalies may be detected by this 11 to 14 weeks of scan. And remember, these are the conditions which are the major contributors to complications in pregnant women and newborn. Before the patient undergoes this 
first trimester screening we do pre test counseling we explain to patient in simple words what is aneuploidy abnormality in the chromosomal makeup may it be in the structure or may it be in the number what is trisomy presence of an extra chromosome at a particular pair of number of chromosomes for example trisomy 21 means instead of normal two chromosomes present at chromosome number 21 there will be one extra that means there will be three chromosomes at number 21 and this is what causes the problems what if your fetus has increased nt value or the nasal bone is not visualized it means there is greater risk of trisomy aneuploidy structural defect and cardiac defect in the fetus so we recommend definitive diagnostic invasive test is which is indicated to uh, when there is nt is more than 3 mm what if your fetus is having nt below 3 meter millimeters that is normal value now nt scan has the detection rate of trisomy 21 to the tune of 80% so to increase the detection rate in such cases we recommend a combined test that is add double marker test so the detection rate goes up to 90% and further to increase the detection rate or sensitivity we add few more sonography parameters like nasal bone ductus venosus tricuspid regurgitation all together the detection rate increases to 95% what if the screening shows there is increased risk of preeclampsia or fgr your healthcare provider or your doctor may prescribe you certain medicines like aspirin for the prevention of this preeclampsia or fgr or for delaying the onset of preeclampsia or fgr how is the first assessment of the length of cervix useful it acts as a baseline for comparison for the cervical length in future sonography scan and take the decision accordingly what if you are detected to have structural anomaly in the fetus 10 out of 100 structural anomalies can be detected in this scan and your healthcare provider will help you and to decide about the prognosis and help in the decision making now before the patient undergoes first trimester screening we assign what is called as pre test risk we subject uh, the data we put the data into the software the like example fmf fetal medicine found a software from the history and from examination from the history mother's age at the time of delivery how many children she has that is parity previous number of miscarriages aneuploidy in the previous pregnancy and which type of aneuploidy history of smoking or tobacco consumption maternal diabetes mellitus maternal chronic hypertension sle aplas syndrome whether it is natural or ivf conception and did the patient's mother have preeclampsia when she was pregnant from examination height in centimeters and weight in kilogram are added to the data in the software having put this data in the software the software gives us the pre test aneuploidy risk calculated on patient specific basis means that means it will give the patient specific risk to us what are the detection rate of aneuploidy in trisomy 21 let us consider maternal age alone has very low detection rate and high false positive rate that's why it is not alone sufficient double marker test has detection rate of 65% nt scan alone has a detection rate of 80% therefore we combine 
anti scan and double marker test and the combined test the detection rate is 90% we add nasal bone to this detection rate goes to 93% all these have false positive rate of 5% to this we add ductus venosus and tricuspid regurgitation the detection rate goes to 95% and the false positive rate comes down to 3% now for trisomy 18 and 13, nuchal translucency, double marker, nasal bone, ductus venosus, tricuspid regurgitation all together have a detection rate of 75% and a false positive rate of 5%. But please remember these fetuses have more number of structural malformations and these structural malformations make us clinch the diagnosis and make us suspect the presence of trisomy 18 and 13. Detection rate of preeclampsia. When we use uterine artery PI on anti scan and add double marker, the detection rate is 84%. When we add uterine artery PI on anti scan, double marker and placental growth factor, the detection rate goes to 93%. So having counseled about the first trimester screening, the pregnant woman now undergoes anti-scan and double marker test. Friends, having understood the basics of first trimester screening in the first part of video, let us now consider post-test scenario.